Well then, just in van doing a bit more insulation. Not, not done much to it in a while. So, <clears throat> just showing you what I've done. I don't buy that stuff. People buy it as an insulation. It's not an insulation. That full bubble wrap has an R rating of less than one. You may as well put thermal knickers on. <coughs> don't buy it as an insulation. You're wasting your money. It's okay as a vapour barrier, but that's an expensive way of putting a vapour barrier up. What I've done, sound, and, sound deadening, let me show you here. This is what I've used against my metal as a sound deadening. It's six mil dense foam. Cut panels out, stick it to the walls, get a state of this. Those are cut out as a sound deadening. But my roof is fully covered in it. You see that bit there that's dropped down. There's a section at the back in the middle there that's going to come out because I've got a skylight to go in. So today I'm just insulating this section. And I've just done this section. So on the roof, there's that six mil, six mil dense foam foil backed now they're yoga mats 3.99 from b and m that's all they are i might have used five then the walls and ceiling is the recycled plastic bottle fleece B and Q do one at sixteen pound a roll. This is the dodo one, which is thirty three pound a roll. If I'd known about the B and Q one, I would have got that. Recycle plastic bottles, and that is three inches thick. That's in all the walls in the roof. I've split it down by half because I've got that an inch and a half of that <clears throat> and then covered in foil bubble wrap. I'm only using this because it was given to me so it's cost me nothing. Otherwise as a vapour barrier you can just buy decorators dust sheets, plastic sheets, get them off eBay. 99 pence that's your vapor barrier that stuff is a waste of time don't be a sheep everybody uses it because other people have used it and it's just been passed on and on and on and on i say i'm only using it because it cost me nothing it was a full roll a couple of feet wide maybe a bit more so it's getting used, that's all. Cost me zero. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using it. I'd be using a decorator's dust sheet. So yeah, ceiling there. There's a layer of that against it. That's a sound deadener and an insulation. Because it's a dense, dense foam. It doesn't come like that. That's just me ripping bits. Foil backs. Foil side down. Then the dodo, recycle bottles, and then that. And then it's going to be tongue and grooved over the top. So I've done this this morning. This has been up a while. This foam stuff. So that, that one there is that one. That's against the van metal. And then I shall cut these to length. Split them down the middle, tape those up, and tape that over the top. But I'm only going to do <coughs> this section here for now. Done this front section, doing that section. As I say, there's a that back section. 
There's a 400 mil roof vent going in. And that's how I'm insulating. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right. Don't buy that as an insulation. It's rubbish. It's good as a vapour barrier. Nothing else, but it's an expensive vapour barrier. Right, I'll do. <coughs> it's a mess in here. I've got to get stuff done. That's the box for my wires for me. Solar. Didn't realise they did them in red. I've got a red van, so I've got a red one of them. Only six or seven quid. People wonder what that is, it's a sand scoop for metal detecting on beaches. So yeah, this is nicely insulated. I've got a beam there, a beam there, a metal beam, and that one, which the tongue and groove will be screwed to. I've got that beam there I'm going to get a ply to cut shape that's, I'm going to put a couple of screws in and stick a flex to that um, and then the roof boards are going to butt up to it and then I'm going to finish the joins with something nice and natural solar panel I've got, uh, I've got electric, but I'm on split charge relay to my leisure batteries, <coughs> which are all down there. That's my inverter. Where's my remote? Where's my inverter? Double socket. 2500 watts I've got two batteries under there 130 amp hours each I'm gonna get another one it won't fit down there but I'm gonna put it behind the seat which is the other side of that bulkhead and just run the wires through so I'll have 390 amp hours so that's that let me remote again turn that off there we go That's that. Uh, solar panels in the house. I've drilled it all. I've fitted a piano hinge all the way along one one at long sides. Uh, all riveted to it. Drilled and riveted. I've got my roof bars on. I've got two planks cut and they're bolted to my roof bars. My solar panels are going to sit on top of that and it's going to tilt. I've fitted legs, extendable legs, to the sides of my solar panel. It's five and a half foot by three and a half foot solar panel, 315 watt bifacial. So underneath the solar panel, on, where it goes on the roof, I've got a roll of silver foil <coughs> that is going to go. So that oblong is going to be silver foil under it. Because it's a bifacial solar panel, it's 315 watt, but with a reflective off the roof. You don't need the tape if you've got a white van, but I've got a red one. So I'm going to put the tape down, and the reflective coming back up again can take my solar panel, 315 watt solar panel, to 400 watt. Uh, that's in, ready to go on. Right, that's your lot. I am going, I'm going to crack on. Catch you later, have fun, stay safe, bye bye.